there is a box in the corner of my sewing room. It is a box whose contents have not seen the light of day for many a month. Many crafters will be familiar with this box, in all of its forms. There's the ever-growing amorphous lump that lies underneath your desk, the monster underneath your bed, the stuff you vacuum packed in a fit of organization and stuffed into your garage in the hopes that you'd never have to deal with it again. This, my friends, is the unfinished sewing pile. The item that I'm grabbing out of the box today is actually a dress of my mum's that I recently took from my parents' house without my mum realizing. Now, I know that this dress is too short for my mom and because of that, she isn't able to wear it. So the plan is to fix it for her and to make it longer as a Mother's Day present. So the first thing that I did was to grab the fabric that I wanted to use to extend the dress. I wanted something that matched the collar and the armhole cuffs. So I found this really similar fabric, a black non-stretchy linen of medium weight. To get the right amount of fabric for the bottom of the dress, I placed this linen below the dress like this. And then I lined up the top edge of the linen with the bottom of the dress. I folded over the linen like this. Now I wanted to extend the dress by this amount. So I drew a rectangle onto the folded over linen that looked like this. Now the length of the rectangle is double the desired amount that I wanted to extend it by, plus one inch for the seam allowance. And the width is just the same as the dress, plus an inch for both seam allowance and a little extra just for insurance. So I cut out this rectangle, cutting through both layers of fabric, and now I have a rectangle of linen that's this big. What I did next was to fold this linen piece in half lengthways like this. Then I gave it an iron, and then I sewed down both ends of the strip of fabric like this. The stitching down this folded edge will make a kind of fake hem. Now, if you're thinking, Annika, why did you bother with that extra long rectangle if you were just going to fold it and then make a fake hem? Well, there's two reasons for this. One is that I wanted to make it just as thick as the cuffs and the collar, which are also two layers. And two is that I just hate hemming things. And if I can avoid it, I will. And I also think that this method looks a little bit more neat. To sew, I used a straight stitch and a thread in a matching color. Then, once I'd done that, I folded the piece of material in half this way. I matched up the folded edge with the side of the dress on the left side, and then I made an imaginary line extending down from the right side of the dress, and then I drew this line onto the black linen material. And then, I sewed down this line through all four layers of material, again using a straight stitch. Now, I don't want the raw edges of this piece to fray once it's attached to the dress, so what I do next is going to stop them fraying. Now, one method to stop fraying is to use a pair of scissors like this, called shears, and cut off the excess fabric from the raw edges. You can also use a product like Fray Check on the edges, or if you have an overlocker like I do, you can go over the raw edges with this. Whatever method you've used to prevent fraying, this bit can now be attached to the dress. So to attach it to the dress, I lay it down underneath the dress inside out. So with that ugly seam visible with the fake hem part at the top and the fixed up raw edges at the bottom. And then I slip this on over the top of the dress like this. And I match up the bottom of the dress with the bottom of the linen material. Next, I pin everything in place and then I simply sew the linen material onto the dress all the way around the hem like this. I've also set my needle slightly to the left of center so that I will sew past the old hem that was on the dress. Then, and this is always my favorite part, I unfold it and ta-da, this is what it looks like. Now, at first I thought that my sewing was really wonky because the houndstooth pattern didn't exactly line up nicely with the edge, but then I realized that the houndstooth was already really wonky along the hem. Oh well, there's nothing I can really do about that. Anyway, this isn't a huge issue and you can't really tell that it's a bit wonky unless your face is like right next to the hem of the dress. It looks fine from back here. So I'm gonna go wrap this up and I'm going to give it to my mom for Mother's Day. So I wrapped up the present in Christmas paper, and now I'm giving it to my mom. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, mom! <laughs> oh, what? Thank you, my darling daughter. Oh, Ella, why are you so excited all of a sudden? Oh. Ella, why are you going crazy? <laughs> so excited. Oh, did you take this out of my wardrobe? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's excellent, because it was a little bit short. So yeah. can I try it on? Yeah. Okay, Yes. I'll try In it fact, on. you have to. <laughs> okay. You have to try it on for the video. <laughs> anyway, Mum really liked the dress. She just wasn't able to wear it as a dress before, and as you can see, that extra length has really made a difference. 
Happy Mother's Day, mum. I also hope that this video has been helpful. Now you know what you need to do if you need to lengthen something that's too short. And... <laughs> All right, okay. Okay, this video's done. Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon who helped to make this video possible. To become my Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria.